Hey guys, it's Rawi and welcome to another vlog. Welcome to Cebu. We're here for a three-day conference at uh, work. Ko. We're gonna try out different bars, cafes, and restaurants. And I'm going to the Boan Public Market. It's gonna be a long weekend. Tara. It was attended by thousands of government employees and officials. It was very interactive and I learned a lot from how the government functions and how they plan the budget. We ordered cafe mocha and ripe mango shake. The seminar lasted for the whole day but we had breaks in between. We went straight to 10,000 Roses in Cordova from the city because we all want to make the most out of our stay in Cebu. We got itong winter melon, milk tea, and salted caramel na lang at they say ito daw yung best seller na lang. Of course, my vlogs wouldn't be complete without food and beverage review. For me, the coffee is too bitter but contradicted with the sweetness of the syrup. Tamis. Meron mo tangan yung pearly. Pero wala ka siyang halunin kasi mag-iit na sa ilangin. The food and drinks are a bit not nice but I love the place otherwise. Since we're in the province, this is the only place we can get dinner. So we had ihaw ihaw and Korean food. Hey guys, we're now at Quest Hotel. Nag late check in kame. Now let's check out our room. We booked a deluxe room. Uh, by the way, hindi siya yung tapping your key card. Should insert it kung nasan yung arrow. Ta this is my room. We're supposed to be three here na magstay, kaso we decided na magbook na lang sila ng ibang room para maluwag kame. Cause it's a bit masikip. On my left side is the CR. The shower kagad. Medyo hindi ko siya gusto kasi pag napagbuksan ka ng pinto tapos nasa toilet ka, ay pinangaan ka na. Merong closet dito. Meron naman silang pang iron dyan. Yung mini fridge nila is andito. We have safe, extra bed, comforter. Pinawagan ko na yung housekeeper ang tagal dumating. Pero, I just want to commend yung reservations ata si Nat na uh, was very helpful and approachable. Ang dami namin tanong. Because first time namin na magstay dito sa Lahook in Cebu. Kaya ito yung binuk ko. Na-expect ko kasi yung corner shot and kita mo yung city sa labas. But unfortunately, ito yung nakuha naming room. The next day, we availed the buffet breakfast. It's a bit pricey, but I like the food and super worth it naman siya. Especially the breads. I'm a pastry girl, so na-appreciate ko talaga yung bread selection nila. After breakfast, we went straight to Waterfront for the convention again. Actually, and dami na lang meeting rooms dito. Parang talagang pang convention or pang conference sila dito sa Waterfront. They have souvenir shops with clothes, pasalubong, accessories, bags, and a lot of other stuff. Which is a great convenience to the guests so they won't have to go to the public market. But it's a bit more pricey here. They also have a cafe and restaurants with a la carte and buffet inside this hotel and casino. So we've visited this room in Waterfront to show you guys. Tapos, ang view niya. Wow! Wow, grabe yung may ano. May umiikot! The dilemma in Cebu City is the traffic and the saturated buildings. I'd still prefer to stay out of the city because it's like just Makati. We were invited at the Golden Cowrie for dinner. This is a restaurant with all Filipino dishes and some are native to Cebu. 
Of course, Salo Salo and Cebu wouldn't be complete without Lechon. Sakto sa trip na to is the birthday of one of our office mates, so we had to celebrate it at Classroom. I am delighted with their cocktails, especially what I ordered is the Amaretto Sour. We had a few drinks then went back kasi maaga pa kami tomorrow. My mornings wouldn't be complete without coffee, so I ordered one. And it's been 12 hours since I had dinner, so I had to eat breakfast since I was so hungry. And surprisingly, this is one of the best tapas I ever had. If you've been watching my vlogs, you'll know how busy I plan my itineraries from morning to night. So we're here at the La Parisienne in the sky. This place is big and it is French inspired. It is designed very aesthetically, very modern French. Bawat Sulok is Instagrammable and you'll have a view of the Cebu city. The room inside these windows is their wine cellar. They have plenty of local wines. They have a wide selection of gelatos or ice cream with distinct flavors. Meat selection so you can create your own charcuterie. They don't just serve wines, they also have juices, pastries, and such. The place is cool but I'm a bit disappointed in their food, it's a bit bland. A good thing, bumawi sila sa ice cream nila which is very masarap for me. Oh, that's that! Tree Shade is a popular Korean spa in Cebu City. It was recommended by our Grab Driver. Super linis ng facilities and quality yung service. That's why it became popular. Actually, nakatulog ako. I really enjoyed it. Last full day in Cebu City, and I really tried the mag cafe hopping. So, cafe number one is the Cafe Francois. This place is half cafe and half convenience store. Na enjoy ko naman yung food and yung in order ko na cafe mocha. But must enjoy ko paren yung buffet breakfast dun sa hotel na tinuloy namin. Since pinapagawa na lang kami ng write-up about the convention, we had time na para mag-ikot and we visited this hotel swimming pool sa Quest Hotel. Center Cebu and we went to Cafe Laguna for lunch. Super sarap na tong kinain ko as in quality talaga. We went to Cafe Number 2, Abaka Baking Company to get some snacks slash dessert. Hello. I like the design, the interior, the view. The staff were very friendly and dinadayo talaga to. We had to fall in line. And super syrup din naman ang kinain namin dito na waffles with fruits on top. And mas syrup din naman yung coffee nila. I would recommend that you guys visit here. Time flies super fast when you're here. I regret not buying a pastry for takeout. Our next agenda is to go to Taboan Public Market, but it was so hard to book a grab. It took like more than an hour bago kami nakasakay ng grab. So, naglibot na rin kami dito sa Rostans. Super, super traffic in Cebu, but at last, we made it to Taboan Public Market. Ate, what is dried pusit? Ito yun, di ba? May tig to 200 grams. Magkano 200 grams? Muan to 20. Liman 200 grams. Ito, ate, how much? 1,000 per kilo, ma. 1,000 per kilo. Like 200 grams, ma. 200 grams. Sige. Isang 200 grams din ito. Super mura talaga mamili dito guys. You can buy those dried mangoes for as low as 45 to 100 pesos per pack. Marami pang choices dito aside from the dried mangoes and dried fish like otap and egg cracklets. 
Since Sarado na mga cafes, we went to this bar instead. Overlooking mo yung Cebu City, masarap yung food nala, masarap yung cocktails, okay yung vibe dito, yung staff, yung service. Metro expensive lang, but popular itong place na to. Bawal mag-uwi ng lechon from the locals kasi mostly walang permit but you can buy na lang here sa airport. So we're going back to Manila na. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you guys on my next vlog. Bye Cebu!